Hello, lads. So, in this video, I'm going to make another video. Videoception chat. Just need to get some work done, and I figured I'd do it here on stream. It's much easier to hold myself accountable to actually get work done if I'm in front of a bunch of people, so. So I'd like to release the video tonight. There's really no reason why I can't. Um, it's gonna take a couple of hours, but it shouldn't be terrible. So I wrote the, um... I wrote the script on my uh, phone, actually, so I have to transfer that to my computer. Oh yeah, hey! Did any of the stuff come? You said one was uh, close yesterday. Oh, you ordered them to your house? over to my computer, so I'm just gonna send it to you on Discord just so I can pull up Discord on my phone. <laughs> or actually, it might not be. <laughs> um... I know what I can. <laughs> what the fuck is this music? So here's the script. I wrote it on my phone. I needed to transfer it over to here. At least that's the first version of the script. Probably change it a bit as I go. First thing I want to do is get this script transferred. All right, you know what? First thing I want to do is get fucking chat over on the other screen so I can read it all the time. All right. Next thing I want to do is transfer script over 
to Microsoft Word. Maybe make a couple of edits. I don't know why it's all in a uh, in a list format. Oh, probably because that's how that is. Yeah, that's fine. use a video game music playlist for music that'll be fine all right so I plan on doing this video in a different way than I've done other videos so here's the plan in the video itself I want to um, I, I want to kind of describe how to get the ATEX like kind of just list off the requirements, you know, explain what effective attacks are, simple shit like that, but really just describe it. And then I want to create three separate YouTube videos. And those three separate videos are each going to be a full A tech using one of the three methods. So there's three methods of A tech that I'm describing. Uh, four effective attack, four magic, and five equip. So, I'm also going to upload three separate videos, and now each one is going to contain, from start to finish, an ATEC using that method. So, an effective attack ATEC, a four magic ATEC, and a five equip ATEC. And then during this video, when I'm describing what the methods are, Say method one is for effective attack attack. Once I'm done describing how to do it, I'm going to put an annotation up on the screen of the of the example video that people can click on. And I'll also put it in the description so that if people want to watch an example duel, they can. But at the same time, it's not going to make this video be way too long. Because if I, I, I originally was going to include all three example duels at the end of this video so I was gonna go through the entire video like normal and then right at the end I would have all three duels one after another but I don't want the video this video to be too long in and of itself even if people aren't gonna watch the last you know 15 minutes of it I which are just gonna be duels I'd rather not have them there just because the video like when people first click on the video, I don't want them to be like, wow, this shit's like 30 minutes. I don't have that kind of time. Fuck that, right? I'd rather them see, okay, this is like an eight minute video. And then if they need the extra information, it's there in separate videos. So that's my idea as to how I want to do this. So we need to do a couple of things before we really can get fully chugging on this video. There's a couple things I need to get uh, before we have everything that we need. So the first thing I need to do is I need to actually do ATEX, three separate ATEX, all using the different methods. So there needs to be a four effective attack ATEX, a four magic ATEX, and a five equip ATEX. So I need to actually do those ATEX and record them. Um, it's just going to be easier for me to do them now. I, I could go through, you know, my streams and stuff and find an example of me using it and then cut it out. But that's going to take way longer than just doing it over again and record it in, in an isolated environment like this. So I'd rather do that. And then the last thing I need to do is just have some background footage to use while I'm going through the rest of the video. So, um, I'm not sure how long that background footage should have to be, um, but I'm pretty much just gonna have to get maybe 10 minutes of just random FM gameplay. I'll probably just pull up a random file and just farm meadow for 10 minutes or something. Uh, maybe I can- maybe for all of my videos where I have FM in the background, I'll always farm meadow mage so that we can always see, you know, if I ever win MBD, when I'm doing the, the farming for the background of videos. In the last video I made, when I had to record background footage, we did win MBD during the footage, which was pretty funny. Uh, so let's, we'll see if it happens today. 
Um, yeah, I should, I probably have a save file somewhere I can use. I, I don't, I don't actually know. Whatever file I currently have is the file I'm going to use for these Atex. I might have to do a little bit of extra farming to get the five equips or something in order to be able to do the five equip Atex, but shouldn't be a big deal. Um, I should have a file that's at least at Pegasus that can do the Atex. So, uh, if it really comes down to it, I'll just download a, 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 a like a hacked file that has all the cards and stuff. That's a, like a 100% file, you know, a, a modified file that has 100% of everything and I'll just use that. But I would rather just use whatever I have now. So that's what we're going to do. So script is done. Now we need to get all of the assets I need in order to edit the video. So that's going to be, you know, all of the footage I need to use in the video and stuff. So that's the step we're currently on is getting the assets for the video, doing all the recording I need. And then after that, we should just, we should have everything we need to just chug along, you know? So after that, really all I should have to do is, you know, record the script and start editing. And it shouldn't take too long to edit because 99% of the video is just going to be me talking over, you know, random FM footage in the background. You know, I'll obviously have to do editing of putting stuff on the screen, you know, when, when I need to, but... For the most part, the editing shouldn't take too long. Maybe, if I had to make a guess on how long editing is gonna take, maybe three hours, not too long. Recording will probably take an hour, and then getting this footage together will probably take an hour. So realistically, we're looking at maybe five hours to get the video out. Maybe a little bit less if I um, am good. Now the voiceover really doesn't take that long because the script is already written. Literally all I have to do is... Oh shit. Literally all I have to do is record myself saying this shit and that doesn't really take me that long. It takes me a, a little while to kind of start the recording. I'll probably record th these first couple paragraphs like 20 times until I get them right. But eventually I'll hit a stride where I'm just recording, you know, I'm paragraph after paragraph without fucking up, but I tend to fuck up a lot right in the beginning. So we'll see. <clears throat> well, I don't really match everything up. Usually what I do with videos is I write the script, then I record the script, then I put the recording into my video editor, and then I edit the video around that recording. Right, so I don't have to worry about matching up what's on screen to what I'm saying. For the, like, I kind of do that in reverse. Like, I make the video around the recording. I don't make the recording around the video, if that makes sense. It, it won't take too long to record and, and put into my editor, trust me. All right. So we need to play and record Forbidden Memories. Ooh. How am I going to record this? Because I'm streaming. I mean, I guess when I go into recording mode, I'll just have to mute my mic. And you guys are just going to see the game. Like the game and the game audio and you won't see anything else while I'm recording it. Because that's because I, I use OBS to record usually. Um, it makes it look a little bit uh, nicer. So I'm probably going to do that. But first we actually need to do it. So let's let's get a PSXE open and we'll get going. Yeah, this is how the sausage is made, boys. I'll probably keep this a little bit louder than I normally would. I need to mute this shit now. I don't know how loud this is gonna be, so forgive me if it's too loud. Yeah. Yeah, it's kinda loud. Here's a pro tip. It's much easier 
to record something where the audio is too loud and fix it later than it is to record something with audio too low and try to fix that later. Trust me on that. It is a lot harder to make something louder than it is to make it softer when editing a video, at least in my experience. So I would rather this when I do record this, I'm going to I'm going to up the audio a little bit just so, you know, I have it at a level where I can fuck with the levels later. All right. Oh, nice, Nate. So let's see what file I have here. I don't know what file this is. Hopefully it's one that I can do Atex with already. That would be nice. Is this one that I beat the game with? Oh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Did I beat the game with this one? Do I have five equips is the main question. Okay, I definitely did a good bit of farming on this one. Not too much, no. Oh, I remember. This was a world record attempt one. We'll have to do some additional farm. Well, actually, I might not have to do that because I do want to do a five equip ATEC as an example, but at the same time, I can just do the other ATEX first and I'll probably win equips anyway. <laughs> like, I need to do four effective attack uh, ATEC and I need to do four magic ATEC. So I'll just do those first. And I'll probably win another two equips that I can use in the five equip ATEC. Or if it came down to it, I could just make use of these. So we'll be fine. Yo, Alexander Wendover, $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Alex. I appreciate you. He says nut nut. I will also say nut nut. Nut nut. All right. So. The first thing I'm going to do... Did I say Westover? I said Westover, didn't I? I don't know what I said. Anyways, we need to make a nice attacking deck, so let's do that really quick. If I had a 100% file, I can make like a perfect one. But we're not going to have that. Um, I shouldn't need that shit. Um, two equips is fine. I would like another... I don't have another trap. Okay, that'll be fine, hopefully. Um, do I have... I had another thunder I didn't put in, I noticed. Do that. So what's my, um... Dragon and thunder count now? So we're at, um... Did I win an MBD in this one? No, okay. So we're at 14 and... 8, 9, 10... 1410, that's good. Um, so we have 12 remaining. We'll do um, like seven zombies and then five um, waters, I guess. Alright, this should be a perfect day teching deck right here. I don't foresee any issues with this one. So this is going to be my example deck for doing a four effective attack one. I don't believe I have any other traps I could use either, so we're going to have to go with that. Yeah, that'll be fine. Hey, what's up, everybody? You're pretty cool, Austin. Did I say- oh, I said Wendover? Sorry. There's a YouTuber called Wendover Productions that I watch a lot of, so that's probably why. Uh, but hello, Austin and Quentin. You deserve more subs, bro. Yeah, I agree. Give me. <laughs> Give. No, I don't. I don't. I, I think I have more subs than I already deserve. <laughs> kind of surprised I have like almost 33,000 as it is. But, uh, you know, maybe one day we'll, 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 we'll we're, we're growing. OK, we are growing. We will keep growing. I promise you that. All right. Um. Can you ask something unrelated to Atex? Well, you already did in that message, so go ahead and do it again. Oh, 34, wow. Oh yeah, we are at 33k already. Pog. This 
more viewers than I thought I was gonna have when I streamed this, so there's that. Why do I call Gka Master? Teach me how to play? No, I call him Master because that is the his name in Discord. His name in 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 on Discord is literally the Master. So that's why I call him the Master because that's his Discord name. But no, he did not teach me how to play. Okay, so I need to record this footage. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go silent while I record this ATEC. I do have an ATEC video, but it's a bad video, and I, it, it's it's very old and bad. So I'm going to make one that is not old and bad. I'm going to make one that is much, much better. That old video sucks cock. So I'm going to make one that sucks just a little bit less cock. That should always be your goal in life, chat. If something sucks cock, your goal should be to make it suck just a little less cock. That's good. Alright. So, I am going to, uh, get rid of, uh, this camera really quick, and I am going to, uh, mute myself and I'm going to record this gameplay for the video So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now So I will be back in a once I'm done with the a tech I mean I'm gonna be here playing and I'll still be able to read chat while I do it but I need to record it, and it needs to be just the game video and just the game audio, so, yeah. Alright, uh, be right back while I record this. Oh yeah, this is going to be an example of a four effective attack ATEC. So, yeah.
All right, fuck this A tech. I'm not using it as an example. Because of course I don't draw my fucking trap until my last three cards. Epic! I wanted to get a good A tech as the example, but of course that ain't gonna happen. Of fucking course that ain't gonna happen. I can still A tech with this. This is still gonna be an A tech because I just drew it right there, but it's gonna be an A tech where I had to wait like fucking four turns to get my shit. I am going for effective, but I still need to use a trap. It's still gonna be an ATEC, it's just not going to be a good example. Like, I would prefer one where I don't have to wait around a couple turns just to draw my trap like that. It's not so slow that it's worthless, it's just not the, not the kind of example I want, that's all. prefer one that doesn't that doesn't hopefully I just I just went and I, I I win a trap that I can use here so that that doesn't happen again and of course I do not win what I needed <sighs> epic All right, yeah, take two. Take two, I'm shutting up now.
That's one down. One down. See if I got anything interesting. Dude, these drops are fucking trash, dude. I need to win one more equip so I could do the five equip A tech. Uh, but luckily I can do four magic next, so that one's done. to do four magic attack. Record for Magic A Tech. Enjoy.
Four magic is done. Only one remaining now is the five equip A tech, which I might not even be able to do yet, depending on what the card drops I just got are. I need to win at least one more usable equip. I could use a shitty equip, but I would rather not for purposes of demonstration. So hopefully I won either Bright Castle or Megamorph here. That would be nice. I got a widespread at least. But of course I still get nothing. Epic. Well, at least I get to throw this shit in now. I'm gonna have to use a bad equip. 
I don't really have a choice. I don't really feel like farming for another equip at the moment. Ah, fuck it. I'll go farm for another equip to make this better. The entire point of me doing this was that I wanted to show it off, show off how fast a five a five equip ATEC is, and if I have to be holding on to an elf slight for five turns before I use it, it's not going to really show off that fast nature of it. So, I'd honestly would rather just fucking win a dark energy really quick. So give me a, hopefully I can just pick up Dark Energy in a duel or two. God, I love this game. I could just hack the game. In fact, I'm thinking about just hacking the game. I'm thinking about truly ISO Modifica. You feel me, boys? Well, it wouldn't really be ISO Modifica. It would be more along the lines of, uh, cheat engine no beans. I don't know. Banana banana win mucho suevos cheat engine, you feel me? Alright, if I don't win dark energy right here, I'm going to hack it into my game. Well, I could just hack in bright castle at that point, so I'll just do that. Why do I have 60 viewers? What are you people watching? Um, what's the card number for Bray Castle again? I am prepared with Cheat Engine if I have to. Don't make me, but I will. I think I still remember how to hack it in. Thank you. No need to do it anyway. Oh my god, I got two dark. I was that. Did I just win three dark energies in one duel? Did that happen? Oh my fucking god. Uh. <laughs> well, I guess I got what I needed. <laughs> That's actually fucking insane. Three dark energies in a single duel. <laughs> I don't even need cheat engine. Every time I go to use cheat engine, the game just does it for me. <laughs> You know, I was actually kind of looking forward to showing off how, how Cheat Engine, uh, how, how, how you can use Cheat Engine to modify certain parts of the game. 
Um, there's also some fun glitchy stuff you can do with it. Um, I played around with it on stream a couple years ago. I haven't really fucked with it since then, but I was looking forward to doing it again, but I guess we don't have to. So, quit. Alright. Well, that's really all I needed to do there, so, um... I only really need one of them. You know, I kind of want to put in all three. Just because, hey, I won them. I may as well throw them in. Alright, five equips. Five equip A tech. You guys are about to see the fastest method of doing an A tech that you have in Yu Gi Oh! Forbidden Memories. Alright. Like I uh, did for the previous two, I'm going to go silent while I record um, this A tech. Actually, really quick, let me um, do this. There we go. So we have our effective attack, we have our four magic, and now we need our f uh, five equip. Yes, five equip is faster than three trap. Five equip is the fastest method of doing an ATEC. I mean, as far as I know, I don't really think you could do it any faster than this. I mean, with five equip ATEC, you can actually be done with the ATEC in seven turns. In order to get an ATEC, you need nine turns to go by, so you could potentially do this ATEC so fast that you have to sit with your thumb up your ass for two turns, just waiting. To be counted as an A tech. So that's how fast it is. Any hoodles, I'm gonna record that now, so uh, enjoy. Hopefully, I don't get fucked over by.
Okay, and that is all of the example ATEX I needed to get. Let's see what I got. Goblin Fan Pog, Bright Castle Pog, Dragon Treasure Pog. I'm pogging. All right, so now that that's all done, um... The last thing I need to do, really, is just record some random footage for the background of the video. So we'll do some meadow farming as per usual. So, I'm gonna record like 10 minutes of footage of me playing the, uh... The poopy butthole. So enjoy poopy butthole. And, uh, don't forget the poopy butthole. go record some footage now um yeah about 10 minutes i'll probably do like 10 to 15 minutes just to be sure i have enough footage to cover the background of the video so uh suck my nut while i do this uh and don't forget to suck my nut thank you and suck my nut
Jesus Christ, did you see those drops? And Meteor Bee Dragon, Meteor Dragon, Skull Knight, Kaminari Attack, Crawling Dragon. Jesus Christ, calm down, game. I don't need it right now. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it. Look at these drops. What the fuck? What am I look at? Look at this page. Look at this fucking page. Look at these eight cards. What the fuck? What is this? Fuck me, man. Everybody stop throwing stuff, you're all gonna go home. Pretty good. Alright, any hoodles. That's all the gameplay I need to do for now. Well, hopefully that's all everything I need for the entire entire video. <laughs> Should be good. Fuck you. Eh. Fuck you. Okay. All the diggity done. I always have one saved somewhere. The metal man give it. The metal man take it away. Oh yeah. All right. I don't even know why I put the music back on. I'm just gonna have to turn it back off anyway. Okay. So I was thinking I could also edit the other videos. So I was just gonna upload those Atex like as single videos with no editing, just fucking clock them in there as examples. But I might actually edit them so that they have a counter in like the top left or something that lists all of the requirements for that Atex. 
and like you know i'll have a fusion counter effective attack all that stuff and then during the duel i could increment it in editing you know would have been a lot easier for me to just fucking put the counter over the over the obs in real time and edited it in real time that would have actually been a hundred times easier oh fuck Actually, it shouldn't be too bad. I could just kind of record that instead of doing it in editing. I could just record a counter and increment it myself. Because it's going to take too long in editing to like edit each individual thing as it happens. It'll be a lot easier for me to just rewatch the ATEC and record a counter and then just overlay that with the video and be done with it. I should have done it while I was playing the ATEC. That would have saved me time now. But, uh, I have a smooth brain, so I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, I'll worry about that later. Let's get the actual video done. Let's start recording, I guess. Well, maybe I'll do the counters now, I don't know. Maybe I can use the little, um, let me check something off screen. Where the fuck? God damn it. Do I really not have a fucking rank calculator thing? Motherfucker, now Bubba's here. He's in front of my screen. I can't see shit. This music makes me think of Bubba. Fine, you can have the seat. Just take it. It's yours. You don't make this easy, do you? No, you don't. Decide to do all this work on a video I already have. Chat, if you are in the FM community, right, and you've used my my tutorials and stuff, 
<clears throat> You're fucking welcome. This shit suck. I don't like it. Fuck it. But you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. I already have an ATEC tutorial. But guess what? I'm making another one. Is the old one good enough? Yeah. Have thousands of people learned how to do ATEX from it? Yeah. Am I still making another one because I'm a little fucker? Yeah. Do I care too much? Yes, I do. I care far fucking too much. Oh! Alright, back to work. Because it's like, it's not even like, oh, I'm just going to make another ATEC tutorial. I'm like, hey, how about I like do make an ATEC tutorial, but I also make it like really well so that like it takes me hours and hours and hours and hours. I can't just make it. No, I have to make it really well, too. It has to be like the definitive forever tutorial. But I figure if I'm going to remake it, it better be good. It better be like the a teching tutorial that lasts forever. That's it. This is the tutorial. Suck a nut. That's the end of it. Forever and ever. Because if I make one that's just all right, then maybe five years from now, I'll want to remake it again because I think it's bad or maybe somebody else will. So I need to do make it so that it's good forever. But it's a lot of work, chat. <laughs> All right. All right, let's just keep on going. Perfect. This is what I'll use. So I'm not going to use this for the calculator part of it, right? I'm just going to use it as a counter so I can increment it while I'm watching. This will be perfect. All right. Unfortunately, Chad, I have to do. I have to do this thing where I have to rewatch all three Atex. I have to rewatch all of them and count this in real time. And I'm just gonna re-record them. I don't have to play again, but I need to watch them again because it's just gonna make editing a hundred times easier. So here's what I'm gonna do. Say goodbye to face cam, right? And he, here's the here's the, the the Doug demo plan chat. Grab the ATEC, full screen that shit. Put this up here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna re-record this again, but while it's going, I will be recording the screen you're looking at, so that when people watch the example video, they will have a real-time count of everything happening why am i doing this because i care far too much right 
Could I just upload these videos with no editing on them? Absolutely. Would they get the job done just as well? Absolutely. But I think this will make it just a little bit better, so I'm going to do it like this. Fuck me. All right, uh, so I'm gonna have to mute while I do this, so uh, enjoy watching the same Atex again. No! Alright, yeah, I accidentally uh, moved my mouse over here. Yeah, that can't happen. So let's try to make that not happen. Okay, love you. Bye.
I keep forgetting to increment certain things because I'm dumb. I need to do the cards used as well. This is more annoying than I expected. But I'll get it, I promise. Might be painful to watch for a little while, but I'll get it eventually.
Fucking finally, I got the first one done. That was harder than it looked. Jesus Christ. Also, I know that this doesn't show life point damage, remaining life points. I don't give a fuck. Eat my cum. Just fucking slurp it, dude. Jesus. Here we go again.
Hey chat, do you want to hear something funny? I wasn't recording that. I just realized that I wasn't recording that last one, so uh, I'm gonna have to do it again. And actually fucking record it this time, maybe. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, my bad, I guess. Lol. Watch that duel again!
There we go, I recorded it at that time. There, those videos are now done and ready to be uploaded. Thank God that's done. All right. Now that that is done, finally, I can actually start working on the main video now. How about that? I got to record this entire script. That's my next move. Boon god, boon god it. Boon god, boon god it. All right, we're recording. Alright, let's go ahead and start recording. <coughs> La Alright. Hey everyone, it's GFC, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to quickly and efficiently get the ATEC rank in Yu-Gi-Oh! I just hit my fucking bottle! Hey everyone, it's GFC, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to quickly and efficiently get the ATEC rank in Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. The ATEC rank allows you to win many cards that you cannot win on other ranks. The best example is the card Megamorph, which you can only win by ATECing. See, that's not actually right. That's not what I have written. I just kind of said the wrong thing there. Hey everyone, it's GFC, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to quickly and efficiently get the ATEC rank in Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. The ATEC rank allows you to win many cards that you can't win on any other ranks. The best example is the card Megamorph, which you could win by ATECing Pegasus. Before I begin, I want to make something clear. The rank of ATEC has the exact same card drops as the rank of STEC. Many of you likely remember making your opponent run out of cards in order to get the STEC rank. This tutorial will allow you to win the exact same cards, but it's much quicker and easier than using the deck out method. With that out of the way, let's begin. Hey everyone, it's GFC, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to quickly and efficiently get the ATEC rank in Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. The ATEC rank allows you to win many cards that you can't win on any other ranks. The best example is the card the Megamorph, Megamorph, which you, which you could can win, win by, by ATEC and Pegasus. Pegasus. Before I begin, I want to make something clear. The rank of ATEC has the exact that same see? card drops as the rank the of STEC. Many of you likely remember making your opponent run out of cards in order to get the STEC rank. This tutorial will allow you to win the exact same cards, but it's much quicker and easier than using the deck out method. With that out of the way, let's begin. Let's begin. 
In order to get the ATEC rank, you have to fulfill certain requirements before completing the duel. Some of the requirements are interchangeable, so there are a few different methods you can use to get an ATEC. This video is going to cover the three best methods of getting an ATEC. Keep in mind, all three methods are very similar to one another, with only minor changes between them, and which method you choose is up to you. <laughs> Oh, don't want to do that. <clears throat> In order to get the ATEC rank, you have to fuf <sighs> In order to get the ATEC rank, you have to fulfill certain requirements before completing the duel. Some of the requirements are interchangeable, so there are a few different methods you can use to get an ATEC. This video is going to cover the three best methods of approaching an ATEC. Keep in mind all three methods are very similar to one another, with only minor changes between them, and which method you choose is going to be up to you. Let's begin. In order to get the ATEC rank, you have to fulfill certain requirements before completing the duel. Some of the requirements are interchangeable, so there are a few different methods you can use to get an ATEC. This video is going to cover the three best methods of approaching an ATEC. Keep in mind all three methods are very similar to one another, with only minor changes between them, and which method you choose is going to be up to you. During this video, I'm going to tell you the requirements for all three methods. I've also uploaded a video example of each ATEC method and included video annotations you can click on after each method is described. I've also included a link to each example in the description, so watch them if you want to see any of those methods in action. you choose is going to be up to you. During this video, I'm going to tell you the requirements for all three methods. I've also uploaded a video example of each ATEC method and included video annotations you can click on after each method is described. I've also included a link to each example in the description, so watch them if you want to see any of those methods in action. Method 1 is known as a 4 Effective Attack ATEC. In order to get this ATEC, you must do the following during the duel. So watch them if you want to see any of those methods in action. Method 1 is known as a 4 Effective Attack ATEC. In order to get this ATEC, Method 1 is known as a 4 Effective Attack ATEC. In order to get this ATEC, you must do the following during the duel. see any of those methods in action. Method 1 is known as a 4 effective attack ATEC. In order to get this ATEC, you must do the following during the duel. That's better. <clears throat> Fuse 15 times or more. 
get four effective attacks or more, and by the way, an effective attack is counted when you destroy an enemy's monster and deal life point damage at the same time. For example, if you attack a blue eyes white dragon with a meteor bee dragon, you will destroy the blue eyes and do 500 life point damage at the same time. That's an effective attack. Activate one trap or more. Activate one magic card or more. Use one equip or more. Have less than 7,000 life points remaining. Play one card face down or more. And by the way, for this, you can just make sure to play your trap card face down and then you never really have to think about this requirement. Have three or less cards remaining. Nine turns have gone by or more, and by the way, a turn is counted whenever you, the player, end your turn. An easy way to tell that nine turns have gone by is by checking how many cards the opponent has remaining in their deck. Since the opponent usually only uses one card per turn, you know nine turns have gone by once your opponent has 27 cards remaining in their deck or less. However, if your opponent uses more than one card during any of their turns, for example if they fuse, then this number would be 26. Most of the time you shouldn't have to worry about this requirement as 9 turns almost always go by naturally regardless, but it's good keeping in mind. A tech. In order to get this ATEC, you must do the following during the duel. Fuse 15 times or more. Get 4 effective attacks or more. And, by the way, an effective attack is counted when you destroy an enemy's monster and deal life point damage at the same time. For example, if you attack a blue eyes white dragon with a meteor bee dragon, you will destroy the blue eyes and do 500 life point damage at the same time. That's an effective attack. Activate one trap or more. Activate one magic card or more. Use one equip or more. Have less than 7,000 life points remaining. Play one card face down or more. And by the way, for this, you can just make sure to play your trap card face down and then you never really have to think about this requirement. Have three or less cards remaining. Nine turns have gone by or more, and by the way, a turn is counted whenever you, the player, end your turn. An easy way to tell that nine turns have gone by is by checking how many cards the opponent has remaining in their deck. Since the opponent usually only uses one card per turn, you know nine turns have gone by once your opponent has 27 cards remaining in their deck or less. However, if your opponent uses more than one card during any of their turns, for example if they fuse, then this number would be 26. Most of the time you shouldn't have to worry about this requirement, as 9 turns almost always go by naturally regardless, but it's good keeping in mind. Click on this video annotation to see an example of a 4 effective attack ATEC. It's good keeping in mind. Click on this video annotation to see an example of a 4 effective attack ATEC. <clears throat> if you complete all of these requirements, you will be given the ATEC rank. 
Remember, if you accidentally mess up and you get a B-Tech rank, you can check the dual stats screen at the end of a duel to find out which requirement you didn't fulfill. That way, you can figure out what you did wrong and fix it for next time. Effective attack a -tech. If you complete all of these requirements, you will be given the a -tech rank. Remember, if you accidentally mess up and you get a B-Tech rank, you can check the dual stats screen at the end of a duel to find out which requirement you didn't fulfill. That way, you can figure out what you did wrong and fix it for next time. Method 2 is known as a 4 Magic A-Tech. Here are the requirements. Fuse 15 times or more. Use 4 Magic Cards or more. Activate 1 Trap Card or more. Use 1 Equip or more. Have less than 7,000 life points remaining. Play 1 card face down or more. Have 3 or less cards remaining. And 9 turns have gone by or more. Click on this video annotation to see an example of a 4 Magic A Tech. To complete all of these requirements, you will be given the A Tech rank. Remember, you did wrong and fix it for next time. Ah, whoops. Hey Morales, how you doing, man? Did wrong and fix it for next time. Method 2 is known as a 4 Three magic A tech. Here are the requirements Fuse 15 times Fuse or more. more, use 4 magic cards, cards or more, activate 1 trap card or more, use 1, one equip, equip or more, more. have less than 7,000 life points remaining. Play one, one card, card face down or more, or have, have three, three or less cards remaining, and nine, nine turns, turns have gone, gone by or more. more. Click on this video annotation, annotation to see an example, example of a of 4 Magic A tech. You'll notice that most of the requirements are exactly the same between Method 1 and Method 2. For the 4 Magic A Tech, we're pretty much just using 4 Magics instead of doing 4 Effective Attacks. By doing so, we no longer have to do any Effective Attacks. This method is slightly slower on average, but it's also generally easier to keep track of since you can put all 4 Magics face down and keep track of them easily. Method 3 is the 5 Equip A Tech. This method is the fastest on average, but also requires having 5 equips you can easily use, so it's only situational. But if you do have a deck that can do it, it's definitely the fastest method. Here's the requirements. Four magic a tech. You'll notice that most of the requirements are exactly the same between method 1 and method 2. For the four magic a tech, we're pretty much just using four magics instead of doing four effective attacks. By doing so, we no longer have to do any effective attacks. This method is slightly slower on average, but it's also generally easier to keep track of since you can put all four magics face down and keep track of them easily. Method 3 is the 5 Equip A Tech. This method is the fastest on average, but also requires having 5 equips you can easily use, so it's only situational. But if you do have a deck that can do it, it's definitely the fastest method. Here's the requirements. Fuse 15 times or more, use one magic card or more, activate one trap card or more, 
use five equips or more, have less than 7,000 life points remaining, play one card face down or more, have three or less cards remaining, and nine turns have gone by or more. Click on this video annotation to see an example of a 5 equip A tech. Here's the requirements. Fuse 15 times or more. Use one magic card or more. Activate one trap card or more. Use five equips or more. Have less than 7,000 life points remaining. Play one card face down or more. Have three or less cards remaining. And nine turns have gone by or more. Click on this video annotation to see an example of a five equip A tech. Before this video ends, I want to mention one last thing. You can actually mix and match a few of the requirements in order to reduce other requirements. For example, you can use 4 magics and do 4 effective attacks. By doing this, you now only need to perform 10 fusions instead of 15. You can do the same thing with the equip requirement. For example, if you use 5 equips and do 4 effective attacks or use 4 magics, you only need to perform 10 fusions. There are many different ways you can combine these requirements to get an ATEC. In the description, I've included a chart that explains exactly how the rank is affected by the different requirements. By using this chart, you can figure out many different ways to get an ATEC depending on your situation. But these three methods I've described in this video are by far the most popular and effective ways to get the ATEC rank. I just vomited. Not really. An example of a 5 equip ATEC. Before this video ends, I want to mention one last thing. You can actually mix and match a few of the requirements in order to reduce other requirements. For example, you can use 4 magics and do 4 effective attacks. By doing this, you now only need to perform 10 fusions instead of 15. You can do the same thing with the equip requirement. For example, if you use 5 equips and do 4 effective attacks or use 4 magics, you only need to perform 10 fusions. There are many different ways you can combine these requirements to get an ATEC. In the description, I've included a chart that explains exactly how the rank is affected by the different requirements. By using this chart, you can figure out many different ways to get an ATEC depending on your situation. But these three methods I've described in this video are by far the most popular and effective ways to get the ATEC rank. Video shorter than I thought, that's good. The name of the game with this video is that I wanted it to be as short as humanly possible. I want to convey the information I can as effectively and, you know, concisely as possible so that people can be like, oh, a six minute video. And then six minutes later, they now know how to do one of the most important techniques involved in Forbidden Memory speedrunning. I think there's a lot of value in that. <clears throat> Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope this video helps you understand how to get the A Tech rank in Yu Gi Oh! Forbidden Memories. Remember, I've created example duels for each ATEC method I described in this video, so check the description and watch those examples if you want to see these methods in action. That's it everyone, I hope you have a great day, see you later. Oh wait, no, I need to re-record that, there was a little bit at the end that I didn't see. I was like, where the fuck is my outro? I, th I know I wrote one. But I just kind of improv it, but I forgot to say like and subscribe, so I kind of need to redo that. I feel like I just deleted more than I meant to. Yeah, I did.
Thanks for watching everyone, I hope this video helps you understand how to get the ATEC rank in Forbidden Memories. Remember, I've created example duels for each ATEC method I described in this video, so check out the description and watch those examples if you want to see these methods in action. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more Forbidden Memories content. Have a great day everyone, see ya. Yeah, that was a lot better. Alright, recording is done. Get the ATAC rank. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope this video helps you understand how to get the ATAC rank in Forbidden Memories. Remember, I've created example duels for each ATAC method I described in this video, so check out the description and watch those examples if you want to see these methods in action. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more Forbidden Memories content. Have a great day, everyone. See ya. Alrighty, lads. That is, like, the majority of the work finished. All I really need to do is do some very quick edits, and then my dick will fall off. <laughs> the editing is going to be extremely quick. There's literally only, like, one or two things I need to add in editing. Like, all I need to do in editing is put like title cards for method one method two method three and when i'm describing the requirements i plan on having them pop up on screen like for example when i say do 15 fusions i want 15 fusions to pop up and then you got kind of just go down i need to do that for all three methods but that's the only thing i need to do like that's it and then the video is done this video is not overly edited the entire point of this video, it's not to be funny, it's not to have crazy, you know, fun or f interesting editing. The entire point of this video is to get information across as quickly and concisely as possible. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Which means we have done 99.999% of the work already, and I got to piss, so BRB. All right, let's get this done. We're just about done. I, I estimate that editing is going to take less than an hour. Probably around 30 minutes for me to edit this entire video. Let's get it done, yeah? All right, so first thing we got to do, we need to insert a video track. And I'm probably going to need another video track. And I'm going to need another audio track. That should be everything I need. We're going to use the free dual music for the background of this video. I don't think we need to get fancy with the background music. I think this one, free dual music, is uh, probably the perfect thing for this. Because that's really what the video is about. And this video is going to be watched by a lot of people. I just want it to be very, very standard. I'm not really trying to, you know, 
not really trying to blow people away with this video or go outside the box. I just want to get this information across, you know? So, that's what I'm going to do. Where is my free dual music? I know I have it saved somewhere. Uh, here we go. Hey everyone, it's GFC, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to quickly and efficiently get the ATEC rank in Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. The ATEC rank allows you to win many cards that you can't win on any other ranks. The best example is the card Megamorph, which you could win by ATEC and Pegasus. Before I begin, I want to make something clear. The rank of- I should be good, I guess we just have to fucking- Wait a bit down or more and by the way for this you can just make sure to play your trap card face down and be good all right audio's done uh let's uh throw in our random gameplay video that we're gonna use uh, i think i'm gonna need another audio track just temporarily honestly Trying to, is it trying to throw in an audio? Put it here for now. Our background video, we ended up not needing nearly as much of it as I thought, so just fucking start it. Like, uh, here, wherever the video ends, be fine, we're off, be fine, all right, focusing on what we got here, so, I want to do really quick, add all of this to a group. Yo, easy. Hey everyone, it's GFC and up to me. Hey everyone, it's GFC and today I'm going to demonstrate how to quickly and efficiently get the ATEC rank in Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memory. Wouldn't mind like putting this a little bit earlier and even having a small fade in on. Hey everyone, it's GFC. Being a little bit of a bitch. Hey everyone, it's GFC, and today oh, I'm going to demonstrate how to quickly and efficiently get the A. All right, let's start editing. The A. Demonstrate how to quickly and efficiently get the A. Tech rank in Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Think. No, I could be wrong, but I think I have a picture of an ATEC uh, poopy papa. You feel me? Oh, I ain't gonna find that shit. I know I ain't gonna find that shit, dog. About to find that shit, dog. So here I have a better method. Watch this. Perfect. 
Oh, oh fuck, my computer's fucked. Oh, this ain't good. How do I stop this abomination? I don't even know what my stream looks like right now, dog. I just... This is such fucking cancer. I, I don't know what to do. Why? It's all ruined. I actually don't know what to do here. I'm in a bit of a, a pickle. Really nothing I can do. Not even control alt delete gets me out of this state. I don't actually know how I'm going to fix this. <laughs> I'm quite genuinely, uh, unsure here. <laughs> Help. The only thing that works is fucking chat right here. That's it. Anything I can actually access. Everything else is broken. <laughs> the snipping tool broke, so I'm just infinitely snipping. Ever. I don't know what to do about it. I can't get out of it. How do I get out of it? Control alt delete ain't working. The only thing that works is this chat because I have it um I have it pinned to top my screen. I need to get out of this somehow, but I can't get in the task manager. So because I can't get in the task manager, I'm not too sure how I'm supposed to do this. Be real, which your task manager was kind of my, uh, was my smoking gun chat. We have an idea outside of that. Shit. <laughs> um. There has to be some way I can close out of that, like, but control alt delete doesn't do anything, it just, it comes up, but then I just go back to the same fucking broken screen. Yeah, not gonna lie, this is a bit of a poo poo pee poo. Um, I didn't really do that much work on the video, like, actually editing it, but I don't want to shut down my computer and lose it. It wasn't much, but <laughs> rather not. Help it, I mean. Do not even the Windows button. Windows button knows all, chat. This has happened before, and I don't remember what I did to fix it. Or if I fixed it, I mean. Maybe I just accepted my fate and fucking and heroed when it happened last time.
I don't even know if my own if this chat is working that I have up. I don't even know if the stream is still live. I I don't know. There's gotta be a way to get at that is shit. Oh wait, wait! I might have found a way. How did I do that? It was like. Okay, I was able to get this open, so maybe now I can get out a snipping tool. Close window. I mean, wait, did I just close out a snipping tool? I did, it didn't do anything though. Just get into Task Manager for like a moment. I'm hitting close window on this fucking thing, but it's Come on. If I can get down here, there must be something I can do. Oh, what if I add a desk pin to like fucking... I have an idea. So the one thing that works, right? I don't know, I don't think this is going to work, but it would be epic if it did. do this is unfortunately not good enough i need a little bit more Broken now. Help me.
I can see why. I'm trying to fix my computer right now, Chad. I can't do anything. I really don't want to shut off my computer, though, because I really don't want to lose all this work. Get into Yeah, I can't actually get into any other program. That's kind of the issue. I can only access my bottom like bar, my start bar, but I can't actually do anything on it. wish there was a way to close out of a fucking program from alt tab Wait, maybe all F4? Uh, YOLO. Fuck, I don't know what I'm closing out of. Who, who even knows? I held down Alt F4 for a while. And it did nothing. Fuck me, dude.
gonna have to, uh, just fucking end. I guess I'm just gonna have to lose the progress. I don't think there's anything else I can do. I could try, like, signing out of my Windows. Oh. Kinda fuck, chat. Nipping tool fucking ruined it all. <laughs> how, dude, how? Oh. <laughs> no. Just need help on getting out of this without shutting off my computer. Roll shift. Oh, we reconnected. Rejoice. Control shift escape does nothing. Um. Just get task manager to be always on top. Fucking unbelievable. Oh, always on top. Wait, yes! Yes, I just got a donation as well. Yo, what's up, Sleepy? $10 donation. Thank you. I might have fixed my issue. Wait, can I get out of it now? $10 donation received from Sleepy. Poke. And task. And fucking task snipping tool. Yes! Finally! I fixed it! I was in computer fucking purgatory for the past, like, half hour. I just fixed it. Thank you so much for the $10 donation, man. I really appreciate it. Man, I'm hungry. I think I'm just going to finish this tomorrow, man. <laughs> well, there's not that much work to be done, though. I'll finish it tomorrow. Because I don't really want to upload it this late at night anyway. I would rather upload it during the day. Because the first day a video is uploaded is the most important. So I'd rather upload it at a, at a good time, you know? So, yeah. Hello, God. How you doing, God? I'm gonna end the stream now, God. I'm so hungry, dude. I'm so fucking hungry. Oh, my stomach actually has pains. That's how hungry I am right now, chat. I would- I could really go for some dominoes or something, dude, but I don't have the money to get dominoes right now. I'm probably just gonna make some rice. But fuck me, doesn't domino sound good? Is your channel name still feel bad for you even though it was a year ago? Yeah, everything is good, MTG. I appreciate the support, though, man.
I really do. Alright. Yeah, oh yeah, no, I know you just gave me 10. I really appreciate it. I just can't use that particular $10 for... No, Domino's is more expensive than that, unfortunately. And even so, I don't think using that particular $10 would be a good idea. I think I should probably keep it in to pad my bank account, but... I don't know, let me check. Maybe I can afford to get a pizza now. Uh, I think I probably could. I think I could chat. I don't know. I have like, I don't know, like 30 bucks. I could spend like 15 of it to get a pizza, but probably not a smart idea. I'll probably do it anyway. I don't know. Hard idea. I am kind of hungry. I haven't I haven't gotten Domino's in a long time. Yo, Sleepy, thank you for another $5 donation, man. You didn't have to do that, man, but thank you. I really appreciate that. $5 donation received from Sleepy. Get you a pizza. Get me a pizza, huh? I think I could probably swing a pizza. If you have an Insta? No, I don't really... I don't, I don't use Instagram. I have a Twitter. Fuck off. I hear you in there. I'm ancient? Why? They said, do you have an Insta? That's why I said Twitter. It was a joke. Okay. Are you having fun playing uh, my PlayStation 4? On my couch in my living room? Okay, just making sure you're having a good night in my house. That's all. Don't forget, my food is in my fridge. You can have some. <laughs> you little fuck. Part of me wants to try their buffalo chicken pizza, I don't know. You better not put fucking ranch on it or I'm gonna shove my cock into their elderly fucking grandparents' faces.
They use like three separate cheeses. Brother, calm down. They have shredded provolone, cheddar, and American on it. It's like, bruh, relax. Maybe take get rid of the American? I kind of want to try it, though. I kind of want to try a buffalo chicken pizza. That sounds really good right about now. But I think I'm actually going to try that. My mouth is watering thinking about it, so I think it's a good idea. But then again, my mouth waters when I think about cock, so... Is that really a good metric? Hubba hubba. Bubba bub. All right, I'm going to get that. Fuck it. Hungry. Oh, why is it so expensive? What? <gasps> what the fuck? Why? Oh my god. Never mind. <laughs> Why is it so fucking expensive? I'm using a coupon that saves me five dollars and fifty cents and it's still twenty dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck that. Wow, dude, wow. It's not even like the pizza's fault, Ness. I mean, it kind of is, because the pizza, even though I'm using a coupon that should make it $6, it's still $11 for the pizza. That is an expensive fucko pizza. Well, I don't know, chat. I'll just eat some rice or something. It's not worth that much money. It's just not. Not when I only have like $40 to my name. It's probably not a smart idea to spend half of my current net worth on a pizza. And again, that sounds exactly like something I would do. I don't know, chat. Anyways, I'm probably just going to get going. 
I need to make up. I'm gonna. I think I'll have right. I, I don't know. Either rice or noodles. One of the two, and then what do I have to go with it? Maybe like oh, I, I you know what? I should have some mashed potatoes from KFC left, unless you ate them all. Okay, good. So I have that as a side, and maybe some corn as as well. I should have some corn somewhere. This is my house after all. There's always corn here. Oh, we could probably do that. Oh, never mind. Polka God, $25 donation. Never mind. Pizza time! $25 Thank you, Paka G O D. I will indeed get pizza. Thank you so much. Holy shit. Thank you. <laughs> I had I had accepted my fate of eating noodles tonight, but you have made everything better now. You know what? I'm gonna even get a little bit of dessert. Just because of that donation. You have fed your GFC. You have kept your GFC happy. Now your GFC will deliver more content. This is the relationship we have, chat. <laughs> you feed me, you get more content. This is how this works, okay? Keep feeding me, I keep making videos. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Uh... Yeah. All right. I don't really actually want any of their desserts because their desserts taste like cum, not the good kind. I might get a drink though. I kind of wouldn't mind a root beer. Unless they have. Oh, they have some new shit that they didn't have here before. I don't remember them selling both regular lemonade and pink lemonade. Also, they have Fanta pineapple now. Sounds like uh, cum in a bottle. Not the good kind. I don't know, maybe a cherry Coke. Well, then again, buffalo chicken pizza. I'm going to want something that's not fizzy and something that's not acidic to cool my mouth down. So I'll probably just go with what I have at the house. I have plenty of drinks here. Um... I mean, I don't, yeah, you know what? Let's not spend extra money. Let's just get what we were going to get originally. Yo, what's up, Marco? Just because we got a donation, let's not add any new shit onto the, onto the checkout. Let's just get what we were going to get originally. So buffalo chicken pizza. Um, so that comes with chicken, obviously, cheddar cheese, hot buffalo sauce, shredded provolone cheese. And it also comes with American cheese and onions, but I got none of both because I don't think we need a third cheese on this pizza. And also onions, uh, fuck onions on pizza. And then uh, um, in order to take advantage of the choose any two or more for five ninety nine each, I had to add something else on. So I got Parmesan bread twists. If I took that coupon off and didn't get the bread twist, the pizza would like double in how much I'm paying for it. Because Domino's is dumb, so there's really no way I could get out of spending like 20 bucks on this. But at the same time, at least I could do it in a way where I get as much bang for my buck as possible. As much fuck for my fuck, you feel? Bang for my fuck? Bang me? Now? Now. Oh. Ooh, was that like an inhaled subharmonic? Oh, there is a way to do that. I, I think that's an actual technique. I just don't know how to do it. I don't know. It sounds like I smoked a pack for a couple years, though. There is a way to actually do that and make it sound good, but I don't know what it is. 
I only know how to do regular subharmonics. So let us get the delivery. Yeah, I'm using EPSXE. Also, yes, I have saved this project. This is saved. We're all set and good to go there. Um, all right. Place your order. And I think that I'm going to stop streaming now. i have fallen out of playing Yu-Gi-Oh! on my phone because I had to do 542 duels to get the 3 MBD. And I was working away slowly at Pegasus Atex and I had to reset my phone and lost it all. But I must feed the GFC nice. Well, not nice, at least the first part of that. That sounds fucking atrocious. 542 duels to get three MBDs. Yikes. That's rough, and then losing all that progress, that really sucks, man. But yeah, thank you guys for all of your support. I'm, I'm, I'll be back um, tomorrow. Tomorrow I do want to... Um, I do want to stream some stuff other than this. I might do some, like... Mario 35 tomorrow and also obviously I'm going to finish this video tomorrow um there's really not that much work left for me to do on this I'm just about done with the video really um honestly probably like another hour maybe an hour and a half at most of work left and then this video will be completely done so we'll finish this up tomorrow we'll get the video released tomorrow um and yeah but i don't really want to keep working on it right now because i feel really sick because i haven't eaten in a while uh my tummy go boom boom so i'm gonna go ahead and not yeah, you know, thanks, Garrison. I really appreciate it. But yeah, thanks again, everybody, for watching. I'm going to eat some good food, thanks to your generous donations. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow to finish up this video. We'll get it released tomorrow, and uh, that'll be that. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.